Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with me, Arash, from the YouTube channel English with Arash. I'm back with another lesson, Unit 7, I guess. Yes, Unit 7 of this book, IELTS 11, Cambridge, and we are working on the listening part. If it's the first time you are watching me, then definitely go check out my YouTube, go to the playlist, IELTS Listening, and you will see a lot more of me teaching IELTS listening and not just IELTS listening I'm teaching a lot of listening lessons from from A1 level all the way up to C1 level so today uh, first of all I, I took the IELTS about IELTS exam about a month ago like two months ago or three months ago it was January 19 I guess yeah and I got an 8.5 in the listening, so now I'm trying to help you get an 8.5 or even a 9 if your English is good enough. If your listening is not very good, then I recommend my Tactics for Listening series. Definitely check out my playlists for them. So let's get started. Today we are going to look at this book, Test 2, Listening Part. Uh, section 3 which is usually the challenging section of the IELTS listening exam so I have to concentrate very well if you remember in the last in the previous two videos let's see if I have them here uh, mm, yes here I answered these questions this is the answer sheet of the listening part of the IELTS exam I answered these parts now I want to answer questions from question 21 to question 30. So it's here. Look at this part. It's here. I want to answer them. In the previous parts, I only had one mistake, which was number 20. So right now my band score is 9. But I don't really know if I can keep it as high as 9 because there are 20 more questions left, but I'm fine with an 8.5. I'm also fine with an 8. I'm also fine with a 7.5. So I'm not really afraid of lower scores. And that's why I'm taking these exams kind of live with you. And I have written these numbers here, 21, 22, all the way down to 30. I'm answering with you. I only record this once. You can kind of check that by looking at that time that is on the, uh, at the bottom on the right. But, I mean, I have never seen these questions before my first time. And you can take the test with me. I highly recommend that if you haven't taken the test, take a piece of paper. Pause the video now. Take a piece of paper, write these numbers, and let's do this. After that, we will analyze this test together. Let's start. I'll show you the question. Uh, so one technique that I have always told you is to use the time that you have at the end of section two to read the questions of section three. So right now, because section three is a tricky section and requires lots of reading and like knowing what it, what you're going to hear, kind of predicting what you're going to hear. Now I'm going to play section two. I'm going to play the end of section two. The last 30, 40 seconds, I'll use those seconds to look at the questions of section 3, which is here. I don't want to show you the questions now, but here's section 3. I'll use that time to look at these this section and look at the questions at least. Even if I don't have time to read the multiple choices, I need to read the questions so I know I can track the listening file. Um, I shouldn't fall behind, you know, it's very important in the IELTS listening. And of course, I will use the first part of section three to look at questions of section three, which is normal. So now I will start. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's here. I'll go with section two, and then it will automatically go to section three. Section two. 
You will hear a woman who were here. Artistic directors. And finally, that is the end of sex. Oh, let's keep it here. So I'm going to turn off my video. I'm going to turn off my microphone so you can hear the listening better. There's no noise. Then I will come back on for the second part where I will be analyzing the test and why I chose what I chose and how you can improve your listening band score. So let's do this. Section 2. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 3. Section 3. You will hear two biology students called Helen and Colin talking about the report they are writing on their recent field trip to a seaside area called Rocky Bay. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 26. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 26. I've brought my notes on our biology field trip to Rocky Bay, Colin, so we can work on our report on the research we did together. OK. I've got mine too. Let's look at the aims of the trip first. Right. What did you have? I just put something about getting experience of the different sorts of procedures used on a field trip. But we need something about what causes different organisms to choose particular habitats. I agree. And something about finding out how to protect organisms in danger of dying out. In our aims? Mm. But we weren't really looking at that. I suppose not. OK, now there's the list of equipment we all had to bring on the field trip. What did they tell us to bring a ruler for? It was something about measuring the slope of the shore. But of course we didn't need it because we were measuring wind direction and we'd brought the compass for that. But not the piece of string to hold up in the air. <laughs> didn't Mr Blake make a fuss about us leaving that behind? Yeah, he does go on. Anyway, it was easy to get one from another of the students. Now, the next section's the procedure. I sent you the draft of that. Yeah, um... It was clear, but I don't think we need all these details of what time we left and what time we got back and how we divided up the different research tasks. Mm, OK, I'll look at that again. Then we have to describe our method of investigation in detail. Mm. So let's begin with how we measured wave speed. I was surprised how straightforward that was. I'd expected us to have some sort of high-tech device not just stand there and count the number of waves per minute. <laughs> not very precise, but I suppose it was good enough. But the way we measured the amount of salt was interesting. In the water from the rock pools? Yeah. Oh, I wanted to check the chemicals we used in the lab when we analysed those samples. Uh, was it potassium chromate and silver nitrate? That's right. OK. And we need the map of the seashore. You just left that to me. And I had to do it while the tide was low. Well, that was OK, but 
The place I started it from was down on the beach. Then I realised I should have gone up higher to get better visibility, so I had to start all over again. But at least I'd got the squared paper, or I'd have had problems drawing it all to scale. Yeah, it looks good. We could get a map of the region off the internet and see if we need to make any changes. Hmm, I had a look, but I couldn't find anything. But you took some pictures, didn't you? Yeah, I'll email you them if you want. OK. I'll make my amendments using those. Then I can scan it into our report. Great! Before you hear the rest of the discussion, you have some time to look at questions 27 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 27 to 30. Now, when we get to our findings, I thought we could divide them up into the different zones we identified on the shore and the problems organisms face in each zone. So for the highest area... The splash zone. Yeah. We found mostly those tiny shellfish that have strong hard shells that act as protection but not from other organisms that might eat them, predators. No, that's not the main danger for them, but the shells prevent them from drying out because they're in the open air for most of the time. Right. And since they're exposed, they need to be able to find some sort of shelter or cover themselves up so they don't get too hot. Mm. Then in the middle and lower zones nearer the sea, we need to discuss the effects of wave action. Yes, and how organisms develop structures to prevent themselves from being swept away or even destroyed by being smashed against the rocks. Mm. I haven't done anything on the geological changes. I don't know what to put for that. Mm, no, we weren't concentrating on that. Maybe we need to find some websites. Good idea. I've got the lecture notes from Mr Blake's geology course, but they're too general. Mm. But we could ask him which books on our reading list might be most helpful. Right. OK. Now, I did a draft of the section of sources of possible error in our research, but I don't know if you agree. For example, the size of the sample and whether it's big enough to make any general conclusions from. But I thought, actually, we did have quite a big sample. We did. And our general method of observation seemed quite reliable. But we might not be all that accurate as far as the actual numbers go. Yeah, we might have missed some organisms, mm. if they were hiding under a rock, for example. Mm. I wasn't sure about the way we described their habitats. I decided it was probably OK. Yeah, and the descriptions we gave of the smaller organisms, they weren't very detailed, but they were adequate in this context. I'm not sure we identified all the species correctly, though. OK. We'd better mention that. Now, how are we going to... That is the end of section three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 4. Section 4. Section 3. Okay. That's it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You can probably tell from my face that my performance maybe wasn't very good on this test. These are the answers I wrote. Uh, I don't know. Um, I had some weird, like A, A, B, B, B. <laughs> they didn't look right, but uh, uh, I'm sure there is probably at least one mistake here, which is okay. We are here to learn, so let's 
it's just it was a little hard too like it was about waves and water and geology that's not something i'm good at but it's okay uh i don't want to do anything let's just do it real <laughs> now i'm going to check the answers in the next part and i'm going to analyze it so let me find the answers and i will print the answers for you when i edit this video Oof. <laughs> i hope i don't have five mistakes <laughs> but i know i have some mistakes so that's section three a a that's right so i wrote it here a a c b b b wow c b b b oh my god i'm so happy these are correct because you know what b b b was very weird i was thinking like am i right a and d oh i wrote d and b a and c and e i wrote a and c okay so i have two mistakes that's terrible <laughs> but anyway that um, I'm happy so I just had two mistakes and my mistakes were in the last four questions uh, two choice questions I, I had to choose two of them so I write the answers here and now I write my own answers as well and then let me let me go to the answer sheet so now we are here so what are my answers are a a C, B, B, B. Oh, then I wrote D and B. Any order, it doesn't matter. You can write B and D. But it was a mistake. Actually, I should have written A and D. So B is wrong. I should change it to A. That's one mistake. And then C and E. But I wrote c and a so i have another any order is fine actually let me write what i wrote here i wrote c and a but i should have written c and e okay it's not a it's e i don't know we have to listen again and analyze this so i have two mistakes here one mistake on the left three mistakes it means my band score is 8.5 right now. If I don't make any mistake in the last part, which is the next video, I will get another 8.5. But I might also get an 8. I never know. But usually I'm good with section 4. Uh, but this section 3 is really uh, challenging. So um, let's do this. We're going to analyze this. So stay with me. Now we're going to analyze this. I think I will have a little difficulty analyzing this because um, some of them were hard. We have to listen carefully. Just now I have to get these pictures and put them somewhere so I can analyze them because here I can't write anything really. Uh, let me open this PDF annotator so I can write something. Maybe I will edit this part out. Okay, let's uh, start now. Let me make sure everything is working fine. My voice is being recorded. Okay. 
So in that time that I had, I looked at the questions. What do the students agree that should be included? Should be included in their aims? Usually when you do a project at university, you have some aims. Some of the things that you want your project to achieve. So you should mention the aims in your project. Now, there are some aims already, but the question is what, what should be included? What other aims should be included? And be careful, what do the students agree? It means both the girl and the boy should agree that this aim should be included. Not just one of them, both of them. What do the students agree? And here you should only choose one because you see the question says what? Here the question says choose the correct letter A, B or C. So you should choose one of them. In the next part, I will tell you. So here you should choose one of them and you should choose something that the students agree on, both of them. Okay, so now let's listen. Time to look. work on our I've brought my notes on our biology field trip to Rocky Bay Colin so we can work on our report on the research we did together okay I've got mine too let's look at the aims of the trip first let's look at the aims first aims of the trip field trip I think field trip is something you say or do in Farsi so field trip is something I will write it maybe for you when I edit it Field trip is like you go on a trip, which is a little scientific, a little, and usually by school or university, you know, they, they funded the trip actually, it's a field trip. So they want to talk about the aims of their trip. Okay, I've got mine too. Let's look at the aims of the trip first. Right, what did you have? I just put something about getting experience of the different sorts of procedures used on a field trip. But we so he said my aim one of them is getting uh, experience of the ways of procedures of or organisms something like experience that. right Listen what again. did you have I just put something about getting experience of the different sorts of procedures used on a field trip yeah he said something which wasn't here. But we need something about what causes different organisms to choose particular habitats. I agree. I agree. This is very important. Always be aware of this one. I agree. Because it says, what do the students agree should be included? And it's both of them should agree. Both of them should have the same opinion. So when she says, I agree, it means this is exactly the one. Listen again, the last one. The man said two things. The first one, the woman didn't say, I agree. The second one, the woman said, I agree. That's the one they agree that should be in their aims. What did you have? I just put something about getting experience of the different sorts of procedures used on a field trip. This is number one, now number two. But we need something about what causes different organisms to choose particular habitats. We need, this was number two, we need something to understand what causes organisms to choose a particular habitat. Habitat means environment, somewhere they live. Let me write this word for you. Actually, if you turn on the subtitle, you can see that. Habitat. Habitat is the environment that they live in. So the second thing the man said was we need to understand what causes these creatures I don't even know what they are organisms it's the name of an animal what anyway I don't even know that but I could answer this we need to understand what makes them choose this area for life what makes them live in this habitat we need something about what causes different organisms to choose particular habitats 
I agree. I agree. It's done. It's A. Factors affecting where organisms live. It means what are the factors that affect the location where organisms live. So it's exactly, you should know the word habitat. So if you didn't know this word, you couldn't probably answer this question. Habitat means somewhere that an animal or a species lives, kind of animal lives. So, and the woman agreed, and it's finished. Listen. Sorts of procedures used on a field trip. But we need something about what causes different organisms to choose particular habitats. I agree. And something about finding out how to protect organisms in danger of dying out. And now the woman says we need to protect, we need to understand how we can protect them, how we can preserve them. Preserve also means protect in, in, in B. You can look at B. We should preserve them. In our aims? Mm. But we weren't really looking at that. But we weren't really looking at that. So you see, they don't agree. The boy says no. We didn't look at that. We didn't experience that. Uh, they wrote a report and now they say we didn't do that. How can we write about it? We didn't do that on the trip. How can we write about it? And then the woman says, yeah. You're of dying out. In our aims. Mm. But we weren't really looking at that. I suppose not. They said we didn't do that. We can't write about it. So B is not correct. They can't include it because they didn't do that on the trip. OK, now there's the list of equipment we all had to bring on the field trip. And they didn't talk about C at all. So they go to the list of equipment and that's 2020. Let me see if everything is working. OK. Now, the question is, what equipment did they forget to take on the trip? on the field trip or do something like that scientific trip maybe by a school funded by a school or university so what equipment did they forget to take it means they didn't take actually because they forgot to take it what did they tell us to bring a ruler for what did they tell us to bring a ruler for it means why did they say we should have a ruler it was something about measuring the slope of the shore. Measuring the slope, sheep. Measuring how steep uh, somewhere is. This is low slope, this is low slope, this is high slope. So the ruler could help them uh, measure the slope. But of course we didn't need it. But we didn't need it. Because we were measuring wind direction and we'd brought the compass for that. But we brought we brought, I think he's British, he says bro, a little O, but Americans say brought. They brought a campus, what? We didn't need it because we were measuring wind direction and we'd brought the compass for that. Compass. So it's this one. It says we brought this compass for that. Compass is something like this. Let me show you. It's they put Nama. Ah, this is the compass. They brought a compass for that. So they brought a compass. But the question is, what did they forget to bring? But not the piece of string to hold up in the air. <laughs> but not the piece of strings. So the man says, we brought the compass. OK, the woman says, yeah, but not the piece of string. So the answer is A. That's how we understood it's A, because the woman says we did that, but not string. Listen, brought the compass for that. But not the piece of string to hold up in the air. <laughs> Didn't Mr. Bl up in the air or something like this. Blake make a fuss about us leaving that behind. Yeah, he does go on. So you really don't have to understand all of this. It's a string. Because they said ruler. Why did they need a ruler? They need a ruler because of this. We brought a compass, but not a string. Finished. The answer is a string. They didn't take it. Anyway, it was easy to get one from another of the students. We, they got it from someone else. It was easy to get it from someone else. Now, the next section's the procedure. I sent So, now they want to talk about the procedure. And it says in Helen's procedure, procedure means method. Colin suggests a change in what? Colin is the boy. So what does the boy suggest to the girl 
about the procedure that she's using to, to report the data. To the draft of that. Yeah. Um, it was clear, but I don't think we need all these details of what time we left and what time we got back and how we divided up the different research tasks. Mm, OK. Uh and she says, OK. So she says, we don't need all these details. You wrote everything. At this time, we went to the sea on the field trip. At this time, we looked at the wind. At this time, we looked at the wave. <laughs> so uh, he says, we don't need a lot of details. Listen. And need all the... Yeah. Um, it was clear, but I don't think we need all these details of what time we left and what time we got back and how we divided up the different research tasks. Mm. And how we divided the research task. So, uh, the answer is B. We don't need... Uh, no, B, no. The answer is C. The amount of information provided. It is too much. It is too much. You are revealing all the details. We don't need that much detail. So, the problem is, the suggestion is, a change, look at that part here, a change in the amount of information provided. You are providing too much information, a lot of details. We don't need that. The order was not really mentioned. The way information is divided up. No, the way information is divided up. No, the way the research is divided up. And we don't need a change in that. He is saying, why are you mentioning the way we divided our research? We don't need to mention that. It's too much. We don't need that much detail. What time we got? But I don't think we need all these details of what time we left and what time we got back and how we divided up the different research tasks. We shouldn't mention them. They are too much. So we should change. Change here means reduce, actually. You should reduce the amount of information in this report that you provided, Helen. Mm, OK, I'll look at that again. Then we have to describe our method of investigation in detail. Mm. Describe our method of investigation. Method they used for measuring wave speed, how fast the wave was. Now, now the question is, patients, what do they say about the method? What do they say? When you say, what do they say, you should be very careful because they say a lot of things. It's not what is the suggestion. No, that, that the previous one was what is the suggestion. It was easier. But here's what, what do they say? But again, be careful. What do they say? It means both of them should say it. Not one of them says, one of them says, no, I don't agree. <laughs> What do they say? They is important, both of them. So let's begin with how we measured wave speed. I was surprised how straightforward that was. I was surprised how easy it was. <laughs> A straightforward means easy and clear, not hard, not complicated. I'd expected us to have some sort of high-tech device. I expected that we would have some high-tech equipment and device. Not just stand there and count the number of waves per minute. <laughs> Not just stand there and count using our eyes to count. <laughs> so... Not very precise, but... Not very precise. Precise means accurate. Not accurate, not careful, not precise. Just stand there and count the number of waves per minute. <laughs> not very precise, but I suppose it was good enough. I suppose it was good. But the way we measured the amount of salt was interesting. In the, the m amount of salt, it is something else. We don't care how they measured the amount of salt. The question is measure wave speed. Wave speed. We don't care how much salt, but I don't care. So... It provided accurate results? No, it was, it was not accurate. They just stood there and looked and counted. <laughs> you see, they say it wasn't precise. It wasn't. There and count the number of waves per minute. <laughs> not very precise. Not very precise, not very accurate. So it's not A. It was, a, it was simple to carry out. Yes, it was simple. 
because they didn't use any device they just stood there and counted the number of waves it required special no actually they thought it would require special equipment but it didn't but just stand there and count the number of waves per minute <laughs> not very precise but i suppose it was good enough but the way we measured the amount of salt was interesting in the water from the rock pools yeah Oh, I wanted to check the chemicals we used in the lab when we analysed those samples. Uh, was it potassium chromate and silver nitrate? That's right. OK. And we need the map of the seashore. You just left that to me. And I had to do it while the time... Ah, now the map of the... Because the next question is about what mistake did Helen make when drawing the map? When first drawing the map? It's not about the amount of salt. That part was fake because we wanted to have some time. Be sure. You just left that to me. And I had to do it while the time... Oh, let me... ...in silver nitrate. That... Here. That's right. OK. And we need the map of the seashore. You just left that to me. And I had to do it while the tide was low. Well, that was OK, but... I had to do it while the tide, the sea level tide, was low, but she didn't do that. That was a mistake. The play but it was okay. She says it wasn't a big mistake. And I had to do it while the tide was low. Well, that was okay, but the place I started it from was down on the beach. Then I realized I should have gone up higher to get better visibility. Uh, I started down at the beach, and then I realized I should have gone up. I should have gone up means I made a mistake. I should have done something else. I should have plus past participle always talks about a mistake in the past. So it says I should have gone up. I sh my my location wasn't wasn't good. Listen again. It's down on low. Well, that was okay, but the place I started it from was down on the beach. Then I realized I should have gone up higher to get better visibility. I should have gone higher, I think, uh, to get better visibility. I could see better. So I had to start all over again. But at least I got the squared paper, or I'd have had problems drawing it all to scale. Yeah. So that's the mistake. At least she managed to handle it, actually. But she stood in the wrong place. She, should have, she shouldn't have stood there. She should have stood somewhere else. Uh, she should have gone up, she should have gone higher so she could get better visibility. Chose the wrong scale, no, did it at the wrong time. It was, she said, I should have done it when the tide was high, I did it when it was low. But then she said it wasn't really important, the, the main mistake was the location. Because she mentions C at first, but then she says it's not a serious one. Listen again. To get better, the map of the seashore. You just left that to me. And I had to do it while the tide was low. Well, that was okay, but the place I started it from was down on the... That was okay. It's the first one, wrong time. Tide was high, tide was low. The time was bad, but that was okay. But this... Beach. Then I realized I should have gone up higher to get better visibility. So I had to start all over again. But at least I'd got the squared paper, or I'd have had problems drawing it all to scale. Yeah, it looks good. We could get a map of the region off the internet and see if we need to make any changes. Mm. Uh, yeah, it says, what do they decide to do with their map? Because their map is not very accurate. You see, she made a mistake when she was drawing the map. Now, how can they make that map accurate? Listen. I'd have had problems drawing it all to scale. Yeah, it looks good. We could get a map of the region off the internet. We could get a real map of that region that we tripped to, that we went to on our trip. We could get a real map of that region and... And see if we need to make any changes. And see if we need changes, if you have made any huge mistake when you were drawing that map. Mm, I had a look, but I couldn't find anything. I had a look on the internet, but I couldn't find anything. But you took some pictures, didn't you? <coughs> Excuse me. But you took some pictures when we were on the trip, didn't you? Yeah, I'll email you them if you want. Okay. 
I will email them. I'll make my amendments using those. Then I can scan it into our report. Great. I will make amendment. I think she said. Let's see. Amendment meaning. Yes, amendment. It means a small change. یه تغییرات کوچیکی میدن که یه چیزی اوکی بشه یه ذره مپه شاید خراب بوده میخواد یه ذره some slight changes they want to make amendment yeah, that's a good word listen so it says uh, I looked at the internet but we couldn't find a map of that region so we could fix our map but uh, Colin you took some picture yes yes Please send me your picture, email me the pictures, I will look at the pictures and then I will fix some um, minor mistakes that I might have had in drawing the map. So the answer is B, yes, check it using photographs. So, they, so she wants to look at, she wants to look at uh, the boy's pictures and then fix the map check it check the map with the map with the map check it it means the map check the map using photographs uh yes I scan it scan it onto a computer no I scan it into the report they don't want to scan it on the computer they want to scan it and put it in the report add information no they don't want to add information they want to change and fix their mistakes because the woman drew, drew the map not carefully and now they have a problem they want to fix some information they don't want to add information add is something else amendment mending fixing is different from adding so that's it i had no mistake in these questions but i know it was hard so don't get don't get hopeless if you had some mistakes try to do watch my analysis and then try to understand it better and practice more but here i had two mistakes why because i chose high temperature and strong winds but it was wrong i should have chosen high temperature and what i wrote it here d and a not d and b I should have chosen D and A, lack of water. I really didn't hear that. Maybe I, was, I wasn't very focused either at that time. And then I also had some problem here. I wrote A and C, but I should have written uh, C and E. That was the right answer. C and E, missing some organisms when counting. Oh yeah, she said that. Why did I not write this? I don't know. I was careless maybe. So let's do this. These are the real answers. The black ones are real, the red ones are my answer, so I have one mistake. In just one about the goes into it, Tarty wish I'm more missing. Uh, 27 28 توی پاسخ نامه از هم مهم نیست شما اول بزنید مثلا A بعد بزنید D یا اول بزنید D بعد بزنید A از هم مهم نیست ولی باید این دوتا رو بزنید 29 و 30 در واقع شما باید 29 و 30 توی پاسخ نامه هستی یه من توی پاسخ نامه هم به شما نشون میدم که عادت کنید So you could do this in any order but you should pick those two If you don't pick any of them you get zero If you pick one of them you get one score if you pick both of them in any order, you will get two scores. Okay, let's listen. It's using those, then I can scan it into our report. Great! Before you hear the rest of the discussion, you have some time to look at questions 27 to 30. Now here you should read the question. Which two problems, there are two problems affecting organisms, which two problems that affect organisms in the splash zone are mentioned? It means what are the two problems that are mentioned about problems about organisms in the splash zone? Let me see what is this organism. Maybe if I knew I could answer better.
organism an individual animal plant or single life یه جور موجودیه دیگه یه انیمالیه مثلا yeah it's a kind of animal fish and other organisms have been destroyed over large موجودات دیگر other creatures animals living organisms okay so yeah there isn't much to that so what are the two problems Now listen and answer questions 27 to 30. Now, when we get to our findings, I thought we could divide them up into the different zones we identified on the shore and the problems organisms face in each zone. So, for the highest area... The splash zone. Yeah. We found mostly those tiny shellfish that have strong, hard shells that act as protection but not from other organisms that might eat them, predators. No, that's not the main danger for them, but the shells prevent them from drying out because they're in the open air for most of the time. Right. And since they're exposed, they need to be able to find some sort of shelter or cover themselves up so they don't get too hot. Mm. Uh, here, he said since uh, they need to do something and cover themselves up, maybe a shield or something so they don't get too hot so one danger or one problem is high temperature and they have to uh, protect themselves against hot weather or high temperature and he said that I heard this one listen in the open air for most of the time right and since they're exposed they need to be able to find some sort of shelter or cover themselves up so they don't get too hot mm. they should find shelter or somehow cover themselves up so they don't get too hot so that's one problem high temperature and getting too hot that's one danger affecting these organisms what is one uh, what is one more then in the middle and lower zones nearer the sea we need to discuss the effects of wave action yes and how organisms develop structures to prevent themselves from being swept away or even destroyed by being smashed against the rocks mm. i haven't done anything on the geological changes I don't know what to put for that. Mm, no. Okay, so it was in the first part. I didn't understand. I missed it. مشکل اولیه رو قبل از این گفته. چون این آخرش دیگه رو در مورد splash zone نگفته. The ending part wasn't about a splash zone. But the question is about a splash zone. آخرش رفت یه زونای دیگه رو گفت. So at the end, it talked about some other zones. Listen. Yes, and how organisms develop structures. Mm. But to find some sort of shelter or cover themselves up so they don't get too hot. Mm. They don't get hot. Then in the middle and lower zones. In the middle and lower zones. In the zone the gas. In the grab to be so all man nadar. In the time that we have to do the same thing. But in the middle and lower zones. In the middle and lower zones. In the middle and lower zones. In the middle some of water let me go back and see if I can find this a where where did he say lack of water is a problem affecting these people these animals and since they're from dry yeah we found mostly those tiny shellfish that we found those tiny shellfish have strong hard shells that act as protection that have a strong hot shells to to act as protection but not from other organisms that might eat them but not from other organisms that might eat them yeah other animal can eat them predators 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 are animals that kill other animals and eat them to be able to survive no that's not the main danger for them and then she says no that's not the main danger for them that's not the main danger so there is another danger that is more important another problem but the shells prevent them from drying out. Oh, but the shells prevent them from drying out. Let me write it. But the shells prevent them from drying out. Drying out means not having water and then you dry. You become dry because you don't have water. You are not hydrated. That's not the main danger for them. 
but the shells prevent them from drying out because they're in the open air for most of the time. Right. Because they are in the mo open air for most of the time. Things that might eat them, predators. No, that's not the main danger for them, but the shells prevent them from drying out because they're in the open air for most of the time. Right. Yes, the shells prevent them from drying out. So one problem that they should deal with is lack of water. They are in the open air. They are not in the sea uh, because they are in the splash zone. And yeah, splash zone, maybe it is a zone that is not in the water. It's out of the water and sometimes the, the, waves, the waves hit them. So they're not, they're mostly out of the water and they should deal with the lack of water. And they have those shells that prevent them from becoming dry or drying out. So yes, exactly. It was very hard. Uh, yeah, it's A. One problem is lack of water. The other one is the one I mentioned. Now let me go to the last question. What, which two reasons for possible error will they include in their report be careful the question is not which two reasons will do they want to include no it says which two reasons for error usually when you do research at university when you do some scientific work you should talk about some error too what are the reasons that maybe your research has some mistakes maybe your research is problematic has some error you should mention two reasons here that they and the question is what will they include in their report not what errors they have what errors will they include and since they're exposed they need to be able to find some sort of shelter or cover themselves up so they don't get too hot mm. then in the middle and lower zones nearer the sea we need to discuss the effects of wave action Yes, and how organisms develop structures to prevent themselves from being swept away or even destroyed by being smashed against the rocks. Mm. I haven't done anything on the geological changes. I don't know what to put for that. Mm, no, we weren't concentrating on that. Maybe we need to find some websites. Good idea. I've got the lecture notes from Mr Blake's geology course, but they're too general. Mm. But we could ask him which books on our reading list might be most helpful. Right. OK. Now, I did a draft of the section of sources of possible error in our research. Uh-huh. Error. <laughs> Finally, they are talking about error. I did a draft of the possible errors. But I don't know if you agree. I don't know if you agree. Because, again, the question is, will they include? Because it is the shared work and they have to agree on everything. For example... The size of the sample and whether it's big enough to make any general conclusions from. The size of the sample, the number of animals that we took to check and, you know, investigate. So, from making generalizations from a small sample. But I thought, actually, we did have quite a big sample. We did. And then she says, but I think our sample wasn't small, it was big. Listen. <laughs> But I thought, actually, we did have quite a big sample. We did. And then the man says, we did. So this is not uh, their error because they didn't even work on a small sample. They worked on a big sample. So it's not an error, possible reason for error in their research. And our general method of observation seemed quite reliable. Our general method of observation was reliable. But we might not be all that accurate as far as the actual numbers go. Yeah, yeah we might have missed some organisms. Mm. If we might have missed. Listen again. The man says we were not accurate and I looked at accurate and I was tempted to choose this and I chose this and it was a mistake. The man said accurate, but listen carefully. The seemed quite reliable. But we might not be all that accurate as far as the actual numbers go. We were not accurate with the numbers as far as the actual numbers go. Inaccurate records of habitats of organisms? No. Inaccurate records of the number of organisms. This is the right one. Again, Jaminovich, number, the rose food. 
یعنی رکوردشون اون عددی که حساب کردن دقیق نبوده inaccurate records عداد نادقیق از of the number of organism تعداد این انیمال ها رو درست نشمردن نمبر بود درست بود و نمیشته inaccurate records of the habitat of organism habitat means the place they live اینو نگفته که پلیسش رو که میدونستن کجا زندگی میکنه میگه وقتی شمردیم شاید بعضی از این موجودات ریز رو نشمردیم So we're talking about the number of these organisms, not the habitat. A is not correct. I made a bad mistake here. So it's not A. Listen again. Example. We did. And our general method of observation seemed quite reliable. But we might not be all that accurate as far as the actual numbers go. Yeah, we might have missed some organisms. Mm. We might have missed some organisms, some animals, some of these species. So E is true, missing some organisms. I didn't choose that. When they were counting, they didn't see some of them. If they were hiding under a rock, for example. Mm. They were hiding under a rock. Uh, we might have missed some organisms. Mm. If they were hiding under a rock, for example. Mm. I wasn't sure about the way we described their habitats. I decided it was probably okay. Yeah, and the descriptions we gave of the smaller organisms, they weren't very detailed, but they were adequate. In this context, I'm not sure we identified all the species correctly, though. I am not sure we identified all the species correctly. Okay, we'd better mention that. We'd better mention that. Means, yeah, I agree. We should mention that we didn't identify some of them correctly. So, incorrect identification of some organisms. حالا بعضی از این انیمال ها این موجودات خیلی ریز بودن اینا نتونستن ببینن مثلا بگن این نوع تایپ A شه یا تایپ D شه یا چه آیدنتیفیکیشن درستی نکردن دیتیل بات دی ور ادیکوت این دس کانتکست ایم نات شور وی آیدنتیفاید اول دی اسپیشیز کرکتلی دو اوکی وی بتر منشن دات وی دیدنت آیدنتیفای اول اف دم کرکتلی سو یا وی شود منشن ناو اوکی ایف یو هاف کام دس فار پلیز make a comment so I know you have come this far I want you to send me a thumbs up send me a thumb up so I know you've come this far I get to enjoy my dean comment to visit it could be done I'm to enjoy my dean thank you in the same sack with the key hello it's called another I can't let him said it I got him to was telling you all year but it was a little hard which is okay we practice and we will get better thank you so much for watching this video So far, my band score, listening band score for this test is 8.5. I hope it will remain 8.5. Even if it's not, it will go down to 8, which is again decent. Have a good time. I'll see you next week. Bye.